given that the National Geographic Channel film um, takes a somewhat different view from you, none of this information in the film will, will change the focus of your obsession or, or how you see Stonehenge in its place in history? And they can say what they like. And it's very impressive, I've seen it. It's very impressive, it looks great. But it's, there's something missing. There's something missing. And the original Stonehenge was wood, and, it, and, it, and by a process of rain and peat and saliva turns into rock, you see. You're going to say saliva? Where's that come from? Hello, dinosaurs. Do, what Do you think it? they didn't drool? You think a T-Rex just had its mouth shut the whole time? No, they were drooling all over the place. It's the first thing you learn in school. Drool, peat, rain, stone. Yeah. So and don't say UFO. Please don't say UFO. No, no, I, I had no no intention of saying UFO. Um, you just said it though. I, yeah. Yes, you're right. I did. See, no, aliens no had nothing to do with Stonehenge at all. It's ridiculous. They built the pyramids for sure. Yeah, but they did had nothing to do with Stonehenge. We, we they agree on made that. one pass over their Salisbury, and they went, "Oh no, thank you." Right. Mm -mm. Not in that language because. They speak a different language, but they said, I don't think so. It's a little chilly. Pyramids, take me to Egypt, nice and warm.